Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for joining me today here on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and clicking on this video. Your continued support means the world to me. Today, I'm out in Paducah, Kentucky, and we're visiting Family Dream Homes. And this home right in front of us is from the Ascend series, known as the Sydney. This home is built by Champion Homes, and it is a four bed, two bath sitting at a whopping 2,306 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 76 by 32 and the going price for this home is about $230,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everybody, welcome to the inside of the Sydney. Um, I'm just gonna pan around and take a slow look at everything right now, but the first thing I do see are the high nine foot walls. I also see registers up in the ceiling and a huge living room. The size of this living room is 18 feet, nine inches by 14 feet, five inches. But before we go any more, I wanted to ask you of a favor. Hit that like button down below. Let me know I'm doing something right. And hey, while you're at it, click that subscribe button maybe and even leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see and let me know what you think about this home and whatever else you want to share. So click on that down there. But as we move along, like I was saying, this is a huge living room, but let's just spin all around and take in the rest of this open floor plan right here. As you can see, this kitchen, huge, um, nice, spacious i like the color scheme it's a very black and white kind of look or black white and gray kind of look and i i like it it's it's a little industrial um it, it looks nice it has plenty of windows as you can see you know and i do like that window right there in the middle and the one right above that sink you know um, letting all of that natural light in i'm loving that and as we spin around over here and take a look down the galley here of the kitchen in the dining room you see you have uh, more storage there, um, decorative area. What would you guys do with that area right there? I'm kind of um, a gas for words because I'm trying to figure out what would I do? What would I do? But you know, the size of this uh, dining room right here, just to let you know, it's 12 feet, three inches by 14 feet, seven inches. And it comes with this huge, huge walk-in pantry. Now, of course, this walk-in pantry, as you see, comes with wire shelves, but it has plenty of storage space I'd have to see. And there is that again. You know, I'd bet some people would put a TV on there. I wouldn't. I'd make it very decorative. But spinning around here, nice big sliding glass door. Um, the, the shelving, I'm loving the, the, the design and the look. Um, I like where they put the microwave. The microwave's on the other side with another like storage area. I'm digging that too. I like that. Uh, the lighting, very nice. But wow, I mean, plenty of room. Like personally, that would be my little coffee area. That's where I would walk in, grab my coffee, and then figure out um, where's my keys at so I can get to work or go to the next home. So. <laughs> And we spin it back around here. You see this nice apron farmhouse sink um, with a pull down gooseneck faucet. You have that industrial type um, range hood. You know, like I was saying, this is a stainless steel package in this home and it's a whirlpool package, which is cool. Um, and, but that was the kitchen. And now we're gonna walk into the, um, the den area or you know, the family room, whatever you'd like to call it. The size of this huge, huge room is 19 feet, seven inches by 19 feet, one inches. I do like that entertainment center. It gives you just a good um, center piece for the room that you can kind of build around. You know, you can add some more uh, shelving units or, or things on the side of that and this room is just big big and I kind of like it because it's you know if you have company and you have kids and, and or, or whatever whatnot they can sit you know be out in the uh, living area uh, the family room back here the kids can be or other people can be so just so many options I do like that electric fireplace right there that's nice and I'm loving the tray ceiling by the way I like that really like that the color choices on the walls like I said it's very complimentary to like that industrial look in the kitchen on, you know, which is cool. But walking into the first guest room right here, the first guest room, I mean, these, everything in this home is, is big. Uh, this guest room is 11 feet, three inches by 12 feet. And this is the smallest room in the home. 
Um, as you can see, the register is right there in the middle. Good ample air, nice strong Congolium flooring in this home. Good, nice strong lines. I do like the uh, the crown molding and the base molding. That of course helps, um, you know, the top the look, but the bottom more so. Um, just the walls, it saves the walls. And let's go take a look at the, uh, the utility room here. And this utility room, again, it's quite big. Right there to your right, as you can see, that's where your uh, water closet is. Um, right over here next to your electrical panel, that's plenty of room for like a, um, uh, like a freezer or anything like that. Right there, as you see, there's your water closet. Next door to that is your air conditioning unit. And taking a look on over here, we have a nice little utility sink and some wire shelves right above that area for your washer and dryer. Quite standard, I'd have to say. And see, that's the cool thing about, about manufactured housing. A lot of this stuff comes standard, you know, like your washing machine, I mean, excuse me, not washing machine, but your refrigerator, your stove, your microwave, depending on the home, it comes with it, you know what I mean? And everything is all set up there, the shelving, everything really. Um, and see, here's some of the trim that'll, that'll finish off the home you know, once it goes to uh, the person who buys it. So this right here, this bedroom right here is 10 feet, one inches by 14 feet, five inches, 14 feet, five inches. That is huge. Um, a standard closet there. Um, today, I'm probably not gonna open that one up because if I do, a few things will probably hit me in the head. They're using it for storage today, so I apologize. But like I said, it's actually a decent size um, closet and um, if you want to see more about uh, the home, the specs, the size, everything, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. Learn all about this home. And taking a look at the, uh, the guest room here, guest bath, excuse me, you've got your single vanity, a nice, again, black and white kind of look um, for your faucet there. Nice transom window right above your standard 30 by 60 unibody fiberglass shower tub combo. I'm surprised I got that out without making a mistake. So thank you for listening. <laughs> now let's check out the uh, third guest room. Um, this guest room right here is almost a carbon copy. Um, this one is 10 feet, one inches by 14 feet, five inches. Um, the closet, again, same size, pretty much a mirror, uh, you know, a mirror image of the other, uh, the other room. It's pretty nice. See, standard again, I saw on the right-hand corner there, we have your, your fire alarms, that comes standard. These fans come standard. Beautiful candlelight everywhere, I'd have to say. And you know, like I was saying a minute ago, if you wanna know more about this home, all about this home, there's a link in the description below. Click on that and you can see some more photos, some more videos, um, some 3D tours, and more importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you because the prices that I quote are from where I'm at. So if you are in a different area, it might be cheaper, it could be more. So click on that link and find out more. And hey, if you want to follow along on this journey and this, uh, this, this road trip I have going on, hit that subscribe button. That way, you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll know exactly where's the will. Now let's check out the primary, everyone. Going in here, um, nice size window, two big windows, letting that light in. Good can lights up top. And then of course that light on, uh, on the uh, fan there. Your registers, a few regist couple of registers in this room, making sure that that airflow is perfect. I'm liking that. Just, just take it all in, everybody. It's a beautiful home. Again, this one's built by Champion Homes. Now, the only thing is, is as you can see right there, we have a sliding uh, barn door, and that's a 50/50 thing. What are your thoughts? Do you like them? Do you not? Let me know. And now we'll take a look in here. We have plenty of storage. We have, you know, a drawer bank of four drawers, uh, linen storage off to your right, right there. Two, uh, you know, dual vanities. Uh, let me say it the right way instead of two vanities. And then spinning around over here, you have a nice freestanding tub with two um, windows right above. Nice, that looks very relaxing to me, I'd have to say. I like that. I mean, it even gives you a, you know, a little bit of room on the back end to do any kind of uh, decorating or, or, or you know, having the things that you need for your bath right there. So that's pretty cool. And then spinning around over here, taking a look at this shower. This is a beautiful tiled shower with a rain shower head coming straight down. A nice fiberglass bottom there with a low step. That's good. 
It's nice. We got two by four walls in this home, as you can see right there. And now we're taking a look at our primary walk-in that's not in the room, but it's in the uh, primary uh, bath. And as you can see, this actually comes with um, wooden shelves and um, wooden uh, coat rods. So that's pretty cool. And a nice little mirror that comes in the closet is so you can see how good you look. <laughs> and then let's not forget where that water-saving elongated commode is. Right there in its own little closet. That's my favorite. This house is rather nice. I am digging this home, and I hope you guys did too. And um, let me know what you thought about it, of course. But, you know, I hope to see you guys again on the next home tour, um, wherever that's going to be. But uh, just to let you know, uh, there's a video Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and there is more to come. So thank you again, everyone, for joining me. Until the next one, I hope you have a great day. You live smarter, you choose manufactured, and, of course, travel easy. See you later, my friends.